What it is, VGC Army? Wait, that's not my intro. What is up, guys? Marv Talks Wrestling here. Welcome to my WWE SmackDown Live results and review. And you're wondering why I'm filming this with my cameras because I don't. For some reason, my webcam and my Windows movie. You, you saw the situation on my SummerSlam results and review thing. Um, please tell me if you know how to fix it because I don't know how it happened. It just randomly happened. I really want to know how to fix it because I really want to put out the best content for you guys. But, anyways, let me know on Twitter. Anyways, I'm here with the results for WWE SmackDown Live, August 23rd, 2016. Overall, I think it was actually a pretty good show. You know, we saw pretty good character development. We saw two new titles, and it was actually a pretty good show. I thought it was better than Raw, in my opinion. Um, really a lot of ups for SmackDown, which is pretty good. Uh, so let's get straight to it. So first up, we had Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan revealing the new titles for SmackDown Live which were the SmackDown Women's Championship and the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. I think those titles actually look pretty cool. They're, yes, they're lazy designs, but they still actually look pretty cool to be honest. I like the I like the, 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 the SmackDown Tag Team title design better than the Raw Tag Team title design. Probably because I like silver better than copper, it's pretty obvious. And the SmackDown Women's title it doesn't really look that bad. It's just it's just the red. It's just the women's title from Raw, but with a blue background instead of red. So it's not really that bad. Um, it's not as bad as ne not nearly as bad as the Universal title. But yeah, the women's title for SmackDown kind of looks like a Jolly Rancher. Anyways, people were chanting Becky, Becky, Becky because everyone wants Becky to be the first SmackDown Women's Champion. I want her, you definitely want her, everyone in the entire universe wants Becky Lynch to be the first SmackDown Women's Champion. Let's be honest, she's the most deserving one out of everyone there. Yes, Natalia's been there for a long time and she definitely deserves another title opportunity but I think the first, she she should be champion, she, she will be a future champion but Becky should be the first. She should be the first. And over to the SmackDown tag titles. In my opinion, it should probably be American Alpha winning those tag team titles. And first of all, JBL said that the Usos were the, were the only team there to ever win championship gold. Ah, ah. Nope. Did you forget that American Alpha won the NXT tag team championship? So the the Ascension. Come on, JBL. You stupid and you moron. Anyways, it was abruptly interrupted with AJ. No, with first it was uh, Heath Slater saying he wanted to be in the tag team tournament. He ended up finding a partner. Who was that partner? That partner was Rhino. I call him Slino. And then AJ Styles came out, and in my opinion, Dolph Ziggler should not get another world title shot. Why? Because he was proven to be wrong. He was jobbing to Barry Corbin during the kickoff shows. Then he got pushed all the way to the main event status only to be thrown back down to the job card. Why? Because he lost cleanly at SummerSlam. He was proven wrong. All the critics were right. Dean Ambrose was right. Dolph Ziggler was wrong. He was not able to do it. From one finisher he got put away cleanly. So Dolph Ziggler is done. I don't know where he's gonna go from I don't know where he's gonna go from here. Um, I feel bad for him. I really think he should have won by my disqualification. Um, yeah, that's really my thought of it. Anyways, the first match of the night. Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss. Becky Lynch ended up winning the match after blocking in the disarm her and Alexa Bliss. Uh, yeah. So, uh, oh, I forgot to announce that uh, Shane McMahon or... It was either Shane McMahon or Daniel Bryan who announced there will be a six-pack challenge over a backlash to determine the inaugural SmackDown Women's Champion, and there will be a tournament for to determine the inaugural Tag Team Champion. So I'm excited for that. Like I said, Big Lynch defeated Alexa Bliss. Then the Usos defeated the Ascension, and then American Alpha defeated Breezango. So so far we have the Usos and American Alpha advancing to. To the uh, to the next round for the tournament. So, so um, Daniel Bryan made a match: AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler. And if AJ Styles is already getting his World Championship opportunity, but if Dolph Ziggler wins, he makes it a triple threat match. And I'm like, okay, this is Dolph Ziggler's last chance. This has to be his last 
opportunity. If he blows it, if he loses clean, done. Nothing can happen. And he lost clean. He just lost clean, just like that. As clean as a whistle. AJ Styles finished him with a Styles Clash. Um, so Dolph Ziggler is just being thrown under the dirt. Grab the shovel, just bury the guy. His career is already over. Oh yeah, we also had a double turn with Carmella and Nikki Bella, which I'm actually a big fan of. I'm actually digging this heel Carmella. It's, I have a lot of faith in it. I think it's going to be a good run for Carmella. I hope it is too, because she's very underrated. Nikki Bella, I don't really care about her. I don't want her to be women's champion. If she becomes the inaugural champion, then I'm seriously just going to... I'm gonna do a backflip off my house straight to the ground and die because that's exactly how I'm gonna feel if Nikki Bell wins the championship. We also had this little segment with Bray Wyatt. Apparently, we're apparently seeing the potential feud between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton, which I don't know how it's gonna carry. Um, I think Bray Wyatt should have gotten... Okay, I guess this could work. This could kind of work. The Viper, the Eater of Worlds, my hair's a mess, I know. Uh, but yeah, this could work. I have a lot of faith in it. Uh, yeah, let's see where it goes. And I know this is not part of the, the actual show, but can I just say, that promo by The Miz on Talking Smack, it was freaking golden. It was absolutely amazing. One of the best promos I've ever seen. Probably the best since the pipe bomb. You guys know the pipe bomb from CM Punk. That was probably the best promo I've ever seen. Um, from the Miz and maybe respect him a hell of a lot more. Uh, really, the Miz, he, he has a point. He doesn't do all this flippy stuff, all those sneaky spots because he's never been injured. That's what he's been. <clears throat> that's what he says. He's been here for 10 years and not once has he gotten injured because he does not need to do all the flippy stuff so I have a lot of respect for him he gained my respect I'm now seeking more interest in the Miz now so yeah and that's it from the Smackdown results and review what do you guys think of the show tell me in the comments below remember to follow me on Twitter at the the underscore real Marv please tell me how do I fix the damn webcam thing um thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time peace